Hey everyone, my name is Aiden. I'm one of the co-founders and CEO here at Fellow. I'm super excited to record this video today. It's going to be a demo of what Fellow is all about. We won't get to everything. This is a broad overview. But at a high level, Fellow is a meeting productivity platform. For end users, what it does, whether it's for one-on-one -on -one meetings, team meetings, cross-functional meetings, it helps you prepare for those meetings, helps you execute them, helps you keep track of action items and decisions, and it keeps it all in one place. It ties to everything that you already use through our integrations. When you use it as an organization, it helps everybody within the company spend less time in meetings and make sure that any meeting time is actually productively spent. So with that said, let's dive right in. So on the left, what you're gonna notice is my calendar. So if you use Google Calendar or Microsoft Calendar, it integrates with that. So this is that calendar displayed right here. Fellow is super easy to use. All you have to do is click on any particular event on the left. So I'm gonna click on Quick Wins here. And as soon as you do, magically on the right-hand side, you're gonna get an agenda generated for that particular meeting. So what you'll notice is that there's three people in the meeting. This is a collaborative area. Anything I type, other people will see. And as a matter of fact, if everyone is there at the same time, you can see each other's cursors moving and editing in the same place. The right-hand side is my private note section. So anything I type there is only for me to see. So again, very easy to use. I can come in before the meeting, maybe add a few topics that I want to talk about. And of course, these are easy to rearrange. I can move them around. But ultimately, once the meeting starts, I can start checking them off. And when I get to the action item section or anytime during the meeting, I can also leave action items for different people. So for example, for Sam, work on X. And what I can do is maybe set a deadline of September 8th, right? There's a notepad section so we can leave any notes that we want, we can leave links, we can leave anything that we want in this section. Again, very editable. I can make all sorts of changes to this particular template and configure it any way that I want. In the private notes section, I can leave anything for myself. If I wanna remind myself to give feedback, it's very easy to do and I can do it right there. What's special about this quick wins meeting is it's actually a recurring meeting and fellow treats recurring meetings in a very special way. There's another recurrence of this meeting tomorrow. So I'm just going to click on that one. And as soon as I do, you can see that another talking points and action items agenda is generated automatically. But here's the cool thing. If I scroll down, what you'll see is I can see the information from the previous meeting and it's all kept in one place. Now, I can start adding to the agenda just like I normally do, and all of this is using the default template, but let's get a little bit fancy. So if I wanna apply a particular template, I can generate that with AI, which I highly recommend you, you check out, but I can also use a suggested template. So let's click on this. There's so many templates. I'm gonna to go to the expert approved section, and so Fellow has the world's largest repository of meeting templates. So we've done the work, done the research, talked to the experts, and we've distilled it here. You can go through, search for whatever it is that you want. I'm just gonna choose this first one. It's a social media kickoff meeting. I'm gonna apply it, and as soon as I do, you can see what it actually looks like. Very nice, I can see it here and can start contributing to it. The other thing I wanted to point out is Fellow also makes it really easy for you to be able to do things like carry forward talking points and action items. So what you'll notice is there is this prompt that asks me, hey, there's one talking point that you forgot to talk about or you didn't get the time to talk about last time. Would you like to carry it forward? So in this case, I'm gonna press yes, and you can see the topic three, which we didn't talk about last time, is carried forward. I can do the same thing for action items. In this case, I'm not gonna carry forward the action item, and I'm gonna make sure we talk about topic three at the beginning of the meeting. Later on today, I have this other meeting and it's a little bit of an elaborate meeting. I put this together just to give you a sense for what fellow meetings can actually look like. So there's a bunch of things, I can scroll through it. You can leave reactions to any particular item. You can leave comments. You can see that there's a bit of a discussion going on here and I will say, love it and add this in. And a lot of times what you'll notice in Fellow is that you add the topics and even before the meeting starts, people have gone in, checked out the agenda, added to it, left comments. And a lot of times there's back and forth comments and the issues even resolved before the meeting starts. And so now you're starting to get a sense for why meetings with Fellow are just better run 
and shorter because a lot of the things are just put out there and people can actually address them even before the meeting starts. If I scroll down a bit, what you can see is over here, I've even embedded a slideshow. So if you have a slideshow, things like that can be embedded right into the meeting. If I scroll down a little bit more, what you can see is I've even incorporated a video. Some of our meetings at Fellow are really interesting in that we have pre-reads, and so sometimes those are in the form of a video, and you can actually embed those, people can watch those things even before they come into the meeting. So if I scroll down, of course, you can see what we discussed in the last meeting. Again, source of truth and everything is centrally placed. So one thing you're probably wondering is, this is really cool. So I can go into meeting, follow the agenda, make people walk in prepared, we record action items, but then I have all these action items in these different locations. So what happens to those? The good news is everything is centralized. For a particular recurring series, you can always go to the action items tab at the top, and those action items are gonna be shown for that particular meeting series. But across your meetings, you can actually find that on the left. On the left-hand panel, if you click on action items, you're gonna see all of the action items that you have across all of your meetings. And you can, of course, check those off and move them around. And you can actually go to a full screen view of it and manage it there. Some of you may be wondering, okay, I personally handle my action items in this other tool. The good news is we have tons of integrations, whether it's Asana, Monday, Trello, Jira, Confluent, Notion, you name it, Linear. We have integrations with so many different tools. And so you can actually push your action items into those other platforms and a lot of times even bring those action items in. So for example, for tools like Jira, you can even have a two-way sync. So you check it off here, it gets checked off there, and so forth. There are a bunch of things that you can do inside of Fellow. You can send the notes afterwards, right? You can send them by email, by Slack, or if you use MS Teams, you can use Zapier. So many different integrations, Notion, Confluence. If you integrate those, they will actually show up here. And sometimes you don't wanna do things manually. So you can set up automation. So at the top, we have this lightning bolt and there's so many different things that you can do. Won't be able to go through all of them. I did want to show you this time saver option though. So if I click on this, you can actually do this really cool thing. So if there isn't an agenda before the meeting, you can actually have the meeting auto canceled. And there's different ways you can do it. You can just give people a notice, Hey, should we cancel this meeting? Or it can actually go ahead and automatically do it. There's a bunch of settings. I recommend you check out all of these different automations that are put in here as well. Now, I won't go through the details here, but you can actually add tabs to any meeting too. For example, say that you have a set of KPIs, you can click on add a bookmark and you can actually paste in things like a spreadsheet. And when you do, that spreadsheet gets added as a tab to that particular meeting. And so you can see that information here. So imagine again, you have a staff meeting and you can have your KPIs there as a tab. Again, really trying to make it so that all of the information is kept in one place. So another thing I wanna quickly show you is one-on-one -on -one meetings. So Fellow has specialized functionality for one-on-ones. If I go to my home tab here, you'll see that I have all of my direct reports. Go to Brian here and I can see the information that we have for our one-on-one. -on -one. I can see that he wants to talk about time off. I want to talk about Metabase. I can see what we've talked about before, private notes that I've left before, and everything is set in this one place. Again, lots of reminders in the products. So more often than not, you come into a meeting and whoever you're meeting with has already added a bunch of items. The idea is we want to take things away from anytime you have something that you're thinking about, rather than messaging that person, you can just add it to the agenda. You're gonna meet with that person on Thursday anyway, might as well just add it to the agenda and then talk about it then. So one of the things that we do to help this, for example, is if you have Slack or MS Teams, let's say there's an interesting discussion, but you want to talk about that thing during your meeting, we have an integration where you click a button and it takes that and it adds that to your agenda directly from Slack or MS Teams. So lots of things to talk about. I hope you're getting a broad overview of what Fellow is about. I do wanna show you one final thing. This is what we call our in-meeting experience. It's super powerful. If you're using Google Meet, you should get our Chrome extension. If you're using Zoom or MS Teams, make sure to get the integrations for those platforms or get our desktop app. It's really easy to do that. You can just go here and click on download your desktop app for Mac or PC and you can do that. But let me give you a preview. Say our meeting starts, I'm gonna click on join Google Meet in this particular case. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. 
and I'm going to press join now. And so once I do that, this is my meeting. And because I have the integration, the agenda shows up side by side right there for me to see. Now that's super powerful, right? Because it really makes sure that everybody in the meeting can follow along the agenda, contribute to it, see the action items. And these are the things that we've done. Fellow just integrates with every part of your workflow. So no matter where you go or what you're doing, you can make sure that any meeting that you're participating in is going to be super productive. So again, so much more that I can show you. Of course, this is just an overview video. Hope that you check it out. Fellow's free to try. Check it out and let us know what you think.